Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well and had a good weekend. So, today we are back with another apartment in San Maishuno. This is 20 Culpepper House. I thought we'd change it up a little bit today and do a little bit of a bigger apartment. So, this is for four college girls, and yeah, <laughs> that's all really. Um, we have very um, different personalities living here, so I thought it was quite nice to have a bit of a contrast. Um, so, yeah, so we are um dealing with um an art student dealing with you know what i mean we, we have an art student we've got a musician we've got one who's into sports we've got one who's like a fashionista into makeup and styling and all that jazz so that is what we're doing today so this apartment i did want to make sure that i had enough space to fit every single girl that i wanted to um and that they'd all have their own room because sometimes there's not enough space for them to have their own bedrooms we did make sure that they all had their own rooms which is quite nice so we do have very big bedrooms in this apartment which is quite different than my usual they're always very cramped so i quite like using this apartment because i can have a lot of space for all of the people um all of the sims that live here so that's always fun and um, also my current legacy family that i'm playing all of the daughters are in university so i thought it was quite fun to do a build that was kind of I had them in mind, it's not directly geared towards them, um, but it did help with the design of this apartment. So I do have um, three young adult girls who are now playing, but two of them graduated early, um, so they've been in uni for a while, but because I don't play with them all the time and I'm playing with like the main household, not the ones I've moved out, then their grades are a bit slacking, so I've got to get on top of that. But. You know it's fine but if you guys do follow me on instagram you'll know those girls from my reels i do reels of that family which i adore making i've got a new one coming out later which is really exciting it's one of my favorites i think um so stay tuned for that over on my instagram um but while i'm at it we do have a giveaway in my description um we have two giveaways in fact one is with instant gaming who i am partnered with um i am um, doing another giveaway myself for Horse Ranch. So I have two on the go. So one is run by Instant Gaming and one is myself. Um, both links will be in the description. One, you have to just enter stuff on my Instagram, so feel free to go and enter that for a chance of winning Horse Ranch. And the Instant Gaming giveaway is any game that you want, so definitely enter. They're both completely free to enter. There's a few little things you have to do, follow in things, but nothing major. Um, so definitely check that out if you do want to win at Summit Games. Um, I'm very excited to be hosting two giveaways. I think it's so fun to do giveaways. I just think it's probably one of my favorite parts of being a content creator. When I started my partnership with Instant Gaming, they were like, you know, we can do a giveaway all the time. I'm like, <laughs> sold, done. I can give back to you guys and that's like the best thing ever. So that's what we're doing. So I do have um, two giveaways in my description and I also have a discount link to Instant Gaming because I'm partnered with them. So go and check out all of it because everything that results in either free games or discounted games. So it's just a win-win situation. So highly recommend. Um, <laughs> But anyway, back to the build. So we're now just finishing up in the kitchen. I did want to add some clutter, but I didn't want it to be too cluttered. I kind of felt like these girls were quite tidy. They didn't have much mess going on. Um, as I always say, organized chaos. Um, <laughs> it wasn't like overly cramped, but you know, enough stuff that you knew that three, three, four girls lived here. So yeah, I did end up putting a bookshelf in at this little laundry area because I kind of felt like, you know, you could never have too many books when you're students so i kind of felt like having a little nook for them to come and get their school books would be useful so i just put that in there um it's kind of unusual to have like a proper sideboard considering it's more of like an elder sim item but you know maybe they're just old-fashioned um and then moving on to the first bathroom i never really have much to say about my bathrooms i don't particularly enjoy them so it just is what it is it's functional that's all that matters um <laughs> but with regards to the bedrooms that are coming up i'm so excited to show you we've got a purple one a pink one a blue one and kind of like a, a peachy cream colored one um i don't know which is my favorite you guys let me know which one is your favorite we've got four rooms of course um i really can't pick which one i like the most i think possibly the peach one i really like which i wasn't expecting to like um i think the blue one is the least like me so maybe the blue one's my least but i still really like it it's just not really my personality if i was living in it um i don't know i don't know which one feels the most me possibly the pink one even though i don't really like pink 
um, but that is a music student and I am very music orientated so who knows but let me know which one is your favorite in the comments um, I always love hearing your feedback you've had some lovely um, responses lately to my builds I think it's so sweet when you say the most lovely things um, <laughs> when I forget which pack certain items are, I've got people commenting which pack they are, so thanks to those people too. Um, although sometimes they get it wrong as well, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> I don't want to like let people believe that it's the right pack, and they buy it, and then it's wrong. So sometimes if I do remove comments, it's never that you've done anything wrong. I just I don't want other people getting confused as much as I was. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're doing well off the build for a moment i hope you're doing well i hope you had a good weekend it is a very stormy and very gloomy here in uk so i hope you're somewhere sunny because i wish i was i hope you're somewhere in the sun and everything's calm and warm and just peaceful because it's the polar opposite here it's gray gloomy and very busy because it's so rainy and gross because no one wants to walk anywhere so it's a lot of cars um not a fan not gonna lie um but anyway back to the build so now we're just working on the first bedroom like i said we do have this one which is more of a purple color i did kind of tie in a bit of pink as well but i kind of thought that this person was more of like a digital artist so she's into like anime and like you know um she draws on her ipad and she does that sort of thing um and I just really like it. I didn't want to make it too girly girly because I didn't really feel like she was that type of person. Um, but it did kind of turn out that way, so it is what it is. But I really like this room. So this is room at one, and then move on to bedroom at number two. This is the room that I said I probably would live in, although I'm not a fan of pink, but I still really like it. Um, this is the music student's room. I think this room is gorgeous. I tried to add a lot of clutter in the rooms, but without overdoing it, I kind of felt like maybe they were in their first year. They weren't like, you know, fully in on all of their stuff yet maybe they were still in the process of moving all this stuff in and i don't know it was just kind of maybe not fully settled yet so that was kind of the vibe behind it and i just think it's really pretty i like all the color schemes that are in here and i just I really like it so that's all really i tried to add a like music mixing station with a keyboard and two guitars she had an option whether she wanted to be um a digital artist or if she wanted to create music physically i don't know whatever she wants i suppose um the color scheme was a little bit funky in this room not gonna lie it was kind of a combination of a lot of colors but i kind of feel like it fit in quite well together um the rug kind of like tied every color in in my opinion because the pinks are very contrasting so i was a bit hesitant to use those but i think it turned out nicely let me know what you think if you don't like it let me know as well i'd love to get your feedback even if it's not the most wonderfulest of comments but you know everything's an improvement um also guys i am currently crocheting sims objects um sims nifty knitting um teddies and such so i will be selling them on my etsy store soon so be sure to stay tuned for that because i'm very excited to make those i might make some mini ones because i think they'd be really cute and it's less yarn because i need to stop buying yarn because i keep buying so much <laughs> my dad the other day he got one of my packages because i sent it home and he was like what is this because it was rattling and my mum was like it's eyes and noses he was like okay then <laughs> so i have a box just filled with eyes and noses for crochet and so that's fun um so yeah stay tuned for that because i will be selling them on my etsy store within the next month probably i'm still very very new to crochet and i've been crocheting for like two weeks or less um i'm not home every single day like at my parents so i you know don't have that much time to crochet um so you know bear with me but i will be getting them out soon <laughs> once i'm a bit more confident at it because i've literally only crocheted for like possibly like six seven days so probably a week it's just been two weeks since i started um but yeah i'm a bit obsessed and my fiance is like when i'm at your parents literally all you do is crochet i'm like <laughs> i know i'm an old lady get over it um <laughs> It's funny though, I've been making some turtles as well, some of the Nifty Knitting turtles, and some octopus, or octopi if there's more than one, is it? Um, so I'm very excited to bring those out, and I might, might make them into little key rings, because I think that'd be adorable, so stay tuned. Um, I'm going to try and make them at reasonable prices, because my current Etsy store is very expensive, but I don't really have a say in how much it is, so I'm hoping that these will be a bit more reasonable, because I can decide the prices. So that'd be fun, and I'm really excited for you guys to have some sims merch like physically as well of mine which i think be really fun that i've made for you so you know it'll just be a fun time but anyway so now we're just on the 
third bedroom this is a sports sim um i do like this room it's just very the complete opposite of what i am i'm very not not very sporty at all um i used to be a little bit when i was younger um into netball and like golf and dance and but not anymore um i probably still would be if i was in that sort of environment but i'm very introverted in my little game world and crochet world because i've hit my granny era everybody so <laughs> Anyway, so now we're just finishing up in at the sporty girls room. Um, I kind of felt like this sort of fit my sim that I'm currently playing with in my legacy. So, you know, maybe she could move here with some of her friends or something. I don't know. And then we moved on to the final bedroom. Um, but this final bedroom is one of my favourite rooms. I think that it's gorgeous. It's so different than my usual. I just think it's really preppy, but like in like a really like vintage preppy way is the best way I can describe it, I suppose. Um, Parisian, perhaps, a bit of Paris vibe. Um, but anyway, I am going to end the voiceover by here for today, guys. You can watch the end clip in peace. But like I said, don't forget to check out Instant Gaming. Don't forget to check out my two giveaways, my discount code, and stay tuned for my crocheted teddies that are sims themed like this one i'm currently placing that penguin will have little baby penguins on my store soon i'm so excited so anyway i hope you all have the most wonderful day i'll catch you guys later on instagram for a new exciting reel so stay tuned and if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching bye guys Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah